Hey, welcome back to Imhood Fishing. Today, I want to target this small creek for catfish. I want to see what kind of catfish are back here. And there's also a strong possibility of getting bowfin and gar here. So, yeah, this is a small creek where it comes out of a county lake here in East Texas. I've seen big bowfin here before, and I know there's catfish. I just don't know what kind of catfish. So, here we go. First things first, let's catch some bait. I'm gonna drop shot a little bit of red wiggler down there. Ooh. I'm using a size eight Aberdeen. Should be able to hook something here. So far, they're all little tiny things. Just gotta let them have it. Fishing this on a slack line, I'm watching that line. Ooh. When that line moves just a little bit, I know I'm getting a bite. I could pick it up and do a tight line, but I seem to do better with a slack line. They're out a little further. There we go. Nice. What did we get? Got us a nice bluegill. All right, since I'm in a small creek, it's not that deep, and there's no wind here, we're only going to use a half ounce of lead on a slip rig. We've got the bead, the barrel swivel, and we're going to go down to an OT1 octopus. And as you can see, I have a really small chunk of bluegill on there. If you look across the way, you'll see this overhanging tree. We are going to cast right there and have that bait just in front of it. My Nix rig is exactly the same, but we're gonna put a float on this one, see if we can pick up a cat and a bowfin or a gar. This time we're going to place it to the right, out towards the middle. We have about almost three feet underneath the float. I've been wanting to come here for quite a while and do this. I thought this would be a good spot to see what kind of catfish are in this creek. When it comes to creeks like this of this size or small rivers, a pool is a good place to go or a bend. This is behind a dam and behind dams, you, on place, it, behind dams on creeks like this, you tend to have a place where the current when it's coming out of the dam has dug out a hole so it's deeper here and it's bigger than going down the creek if this creek gets narrow and small and shallow going down that way so this should hold fish I've caught crappie here before and other kinds of panfish I've seen bowfin here and gar so this is a really good place so if, if you're looking for a place to catch catfish or bowfin or whatever on a little creek Go behind a dam if you can, or look for a bend. Anywhere where that current can have the opportunity to dig out and make a hole. And you're gonna find fish there, especially this time of year. This is Christmas week. Merry Christmas, by the way, and happy holidays. So, yeah, it's been cold, but it's not cold today. This was the perfect day to come out here and do this. It was a little warm yesterday and a little warmer today. And we're having good overnights, so I thought, yeah. Let's go see what kind of catfish are back here now. We are early in the afternoon. It's just coming up around three o'clock right now. So things are gonna be slow, but these should be picking up right around the corner here soon. Oh, I'm getting a bite on the float and a bite on the bottom line. We just got a little hit, hit, hit over here on this line. And now we have a slack line and look at this. Starting to motorboat around. Wonder what that is. Oh, 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 oh. The float is under. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Now that totally makes sense. 
got ourselves a bull head yeah you're right yeah you're right it's like a brown one nice mean little sucker too mr bullhead you can go back now all right i totally want to do that again okay whoa okay come up out of whatever you're in whoa he's got a little more of a fight to him whoa it's bigger it's a bigger bullhead whoa nice yeah always awesome when they're almost a pound like this one is nice i should have brought lighter line but i was thinking about the gar and the bow fin there you go something's with my bait on the float slowly moving that float too but he hasn't gone under yet he wants to though he's coming towards a rock maybe he wants to take that bait up underneath that rock We got you? Oh yeah, we got you. What do we got? Whoa. Looks like a totally different bowfin, huh? Bowfin Central here. Oh. oh, we got you. Look at this bullhead. Wow much darker than the uh last ones nice all right i hope it's not all bullhead but whatever right getting another bite over here on the float seems like the float is the way to go to get these bullheads i'm having more bites on the float than the bottom line You see anything missing with this picture? The float is gone. Another small bullhead. It's got to be at least one channel cat in here, and hopefully, we hit a bowfin before we lose the light. I'm gonna give up on fishing the bottom. Had a couple of bites, but nothing serious. Let's put this one on the float as well and fish it to the left. Which one, which one will go first? It's anybody's guess. Might be little bullheads messing with these baits right now. Could be other panfish picking at these baits. Oh, ho, 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 we got a float under. Yes, sir. He got serious. Oh, oh, he got off too. It is almost 4.30 and the bullhead bite is severely slowing down. I want to catch fish. So let's see what we can get on the worm while we watch these floats. Oh yeah. Wow, nice. Whoop, here we go. Another little long air. Whoa. Hey, look at that. Whoa. I didn't think these were back here at this size anyway. That, that's the biggest, biggest gill I've caught back here so far. Wow. 
I do need some more bait, but we're not going to use this as bait. Nice. Awesome. That'll work. Actually, let's get a smaller one. We don't need that much bait. Whoa. The bullhead bite has slowed down, but the bluegill bite is not bad right here right now. Here we go. That's all we need right there. I put fresh bait out there and I'm getting a good bite right off. Both of them have fresh bait. This red cork is the one getting a good bite. But again, it's not that serious of a bite. Something little. He wants to take it under. Look at that. Did I get you? Yep, I got you. Whoa, look at this. Ho, ho, ho. It's a nice goggle eye on a piece of cut bait. Whoa, nice fat one too. Nice, look at that, nice. It is now 5.30, what a nice sunset, huh? So. Maybe bullhead are the only catfish back here, but things could be different over time. And the water might still be a little too cold for a crazy bowfin bite, but this is definitely a bowfin spot. That goggle eye on the cut bait under the float was awesome. That was really uh, cool. That made my day back here, which I had a lot of fun on this bullhead bite, but it died at four o'clock. It severely slowed down by 4.30. It was just panfish picking at the baits. Hence the goggle eye. So, what a fun afternoon. Like, share, comment, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. Click the bell so you get notified of all the new videos and you stay up to beat with us. And I will see you next time. Have a good holiday.